Greetings, it's Holly. Today I'm finally, finally unboxing NCT Dream's full album, Hot Sauce. Let's get a round of applause in the chat. I have nine copies with me. I have the crazy, boring, and the chilling version. Um, you know the drill. I'm gonna flip through each one and then I'll go through my pulls. Okay, so here is the crazy version. Here's the front, you know the side and the back i'm seriously a sucker for collage anything collage so i love the packaging oh my god it's hollow you're lying this is so cute there's so much stuff here's the photo book we have a sticker sheet we have we have a poster <gasps> oh i forgot these were random member we got renjin poster we have a postcard book, which I will flip through in a second. And then we have a thanks to literal poster. I will definitely be looking at the translations later. It's just a front and back of all the members' messages, so I will definitely look into that later. Before we get into the spiciness of the whole album, I really want to go over the postcard book. Nervous. Okay, so here we freaking go. We start off with Mark, and it looks like we're going to go in age order. Oh my god, I'm just so excited to finally have these albums on hand because I've avoided all unboxings, including NCT's unboxing of their own album. I stay loyal to not seeing anything. But yes, ooh, we get two pictures each, I'm assuming. Cool. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to the boring version though. I'm so excited. Oh, okay. Those are cute. So we have those postcards. Here is the photo book. I love how the hot sauce bottle has like a hollow detailing. They kind of did it for the gaze. I'm so excited. Literally. Okay. That's so cute how it's like little nutritional facts with the credits. I love that. And then we have the CD. Okay, so that was the crazy version. Oh my god. I know the Cafe Dream one doesn't have a signature on the back. For the Cafe one, we got... Oh my god, we got Chunla. He's so cute. I love this card so much. I was hiding the member one under the ad. So for the member card... I'm scared. Um, one, two, three. Ooh! Not me throwing him. I'm so sorry, King. But we got Mark for the crazy version. I love, I love. But the back is so cute. I love the backs of their photo cards for this era. Like, SM photo cards never miss. Moving on to the boring version. I'm honestly the most excited for this version. I love all the concept photos and the photo card set is actually superior for this one. So here's the cover, the spines. I feel like a really professional unboxer when I do that, but here we go. I'm honestly so obsessed with the hollow detailing on the album. We have similar inclusions. We have the sticker sheet, which is so cute. I love that. We have the thanks to poster, which I'll go ahead and unfold. It has a group picture both sides. It's just the same picture, but it has all their messages on it. I'll wait to open the member poster, but we have the postcard book, which I will flip through right now. Oh my god, I'm literally, I'm actually obsessed with this. The styling is so good. And Renjun 8, like his photo cards are so immaculate. Honestly, all of them are. I'm actually so excited to be collecting OT7. <laughs> OT7 for this 
album because I love, I love it here. I think I'm in my dreams and bag at this point, but here we go. We have these two sets. He looks so pretty here. Jenna's so pretty. Mr. Headshot, good night. I mean, Jamin, Chunla, and Jisun. Those are the postcards. Here is the random member poster. And we got Jeno. I freaking love this picture of him. I don't know what it is, but it just hits so differently seeing it in person. And here's the fold-out picture. This kind of gives me from home tease, I guess with just how casual it is. But more, um, I don't know, grunge. I, I don't think that's the word for it. So here is the photo book. I love this concept. I think I'm just so hyped on an NCT Dream comeback, let alone a full album. I really felt like I was in an NCT Dream drought until now. Like, I'm just so glad to get like a full album. 10 totally different songs, which I have grown to love so much. As I was saying, I've grown to love this album so much. Hot Sauce was definitely different, and after a couple listens, I was kind of hooked. They did it for me. I feel like a lot of people can say the same about Hot Sauce as well. I really, really liked the title track. I think the choreography is really fun too. And the music video, I was just so proud of them. They all look so grown and so professional and rich and famous, and I love it. I know in my setting up to collect Seven Dream video, I said I would talk about the album more in depth, so I think I should mention B-Sides as well. Dive Into You is definitely probably my favorite song on the album, and I'm so, so happy they are promoting that song as the B-Side along with Hot Sauce because it is just so cute. The outfits for Dive Into You have been so immaculate lately, and the choreography is adorable. I just love it so much. I'm not going in any order, by the way. Diggity. Diggity was one of the tracks that got a music video, and I actually really like that one too. I'm kind of extra biased when it comes to Dream, and I kind of eat up whatever they do, but Diggity was another song that I really liked, especially when it goes into the chorus. I think it's really fun, and I do like Dream's more louder music as well as their ballads here's the tracklist hot sauce diggity dive into you which i talked about my youth i thought that one was really nice too rocket i love rocket so much i think it's such a fun song we have countdown anl is another really cute one that i listen to a lot irreplaceable kind of blew me out of the water because vocal line did not come to disappoint and then we have be there for you and rainbow and here is the disc as i was saying i seriously think rainbow supremacy because i love that song so much if anyone else likes rainbow as much as i do let me know i'm gonna start with my pools here is the cafe card and we got <gasps> Yay! Oh my god, we got G Song. I'm so happy. Thank goodness. I'm so excited about this. And I love the cafe cards so much. They're gonna look so adorable as a set. For the boring version, the first one that I opened, we got Mark. Oh my god. Peace sign king, me thinks. Now I'm gonna move on to the chilling version album and then we'll look at my pulls for the rest of the albums. Okay, so here is the chilling version. This is the third and final version. So here's the front and the sides and the back but here is the postcard book i'm really excited for this one i really like the outfits in it here is the sticker sheet the special thanks this looks like another group photo i'm gonna have to put it this way but it's a vertical group photo and it's the same on the back and then here is the postcards oh look at mark oh my gosh He's very pretty. He's very much very pretty. I love this hair color on him too. Then we have Rinjin. He kind of ate up this era. I don't know. I feel like I haven't decided whose era it is yet. Who owns hot sauce? Let me know. But Rinjin did not come to play. Absolutely not. Same with Jamin. Oh my goodness. But also Chunla too. Like, I, I literally could name all seven members and be like, this is their era. I can't choose just one member. I love this picture of Mark, by the way. And same with this picture of Jeno. Like, they really did it. They really did it. 
Chunla, and then Jisung. He's so cute. Okay. For our random member poster, we got Mark. Absolutely. We got Mark for the poster. Mark kind of is showing up this era and I love to see it. I usually don't pull Mark a lot, I don't think. Again, we have the folded member photo. Oh, Jisung looks so nice here. I've honestly been loving this era so far. There's so much content to keep up with. I love to see it. I love waking up and like seeing dream, new dream videos or tweets or like bubble messages. This is like the fun part of when idols come back and I just know Dream have been loving this era too. They've been really vocal about how happy and excited they are which just makes me even more excited as a fan and a supporter of them. I'm just so happy like I, j I cannot express how much I appreciate and love NCT Dream. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Speaking of like albums and stuff, there are already so many photo cards for this era. I counted, there's at least like 10 photo cards to collect for an individual member. And then there's like a group photo card. There's a winner fan sign set, like y'all. I'm praying for us stream collectors because it's kind of crazy out here. I'm staying loyal to the boring version, but the chilling version kind of has my heart. Like these pictures are so pretty. I love this group picture too. Then we have the track list once again. And then there's gonna be another group photo. Yes, serve. I need to find a scan of this one because I really like that picture. But, and then here is the CD. Here are my pools. As always, we're gonna start with the Seven Dream Cafe card and we got Jisung again. I'm not even mad about this. This is so cute. For the album card, we got, <gasps> yes, yes, love, exactly. We got Jisung. I love this card of him so much. Probably my second favorite from the boring photo card he has. I'm not saying the photo card is boring. I mean the boring version photo card. Now that I've unboxed and done my little flip through moment, I can finally open my six other albums for the photo card pulls. I don't know how much the video got, but I'm back. We're opening the second Boring album and I'll recap at the end just in case. For the cafe card, for the cafe card, we got Jeno again. Okay, so this really might be a dupe album. And we got Jeno again for the photo card. Absolutely love. Chilling version, we got Rinjin. Absolutely, Mr. Zim Zalabia, you better come eat. For the cafe version, for our first chilling version, we got Jeno again. Okay, he loves it here and I love him. For our next boring version, we got Jisung again. Okay. Ooh. And last album. No, literally, where's the random Polaroid, Aladdin? And for the last poster, we got Mark. Um, okay, so for the normal photo card, we got Jisung one more time for this version. We got Jisung like all three times for the chilling version. And then for the cafe card, I literally spoiled this for myself. You're lying! We got Mr. Hitchin, I'm so happy. Here are the final pulls we got. We kind of pulled through with like the cafe cards, we almost got everyone. So we got Jamin, two Jamin. We got three Genos, two Jisung, a Hechan, Chunla. For the crazy version, we got Mark and then two Geno. For the boring version, we got Mark and then two Geno. And then for the chilling version, we got all Jisung. But yes, I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing. I hope you're having a great day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.